All right, folks, folks at Seek.com, of course, uh, they uh, black owned company founded by Mary Spiel. They have a couple of great products uh, that you can actually get. This is their VR headset. Uh, this headset, folks, uh, allows for you to actually take your cell phone, pop it right into here, close it up, and then you can actually watch the VR content, the virtual reality content on Seek.com right there uh, through your phone. Actually, it's pretty cool. You can also look at 360 degree video uh, from other websites as well. And it puts you literally right there uh, where the video was shot. And so uh, they have this particular headset right here. They also have their 360 degree 4D headphones. And so these headphones right here, which are Bluetooth, also, they have the headset, which you use for when you'd, uh, if you're for all you gamers out there. Uh, and then, of course, uh, it has this uh, amazing sound, really, uh, which actually covers around. Typically, you don't know, just have the headphones just right here, but this actually has a sound that goes all around your head. I love these headphones, love listening to music with them uh, and watching videos as well. And so, all you got to do, folks, uh, is go to seek.com, C E E K.com, use the promo code. RMVIP2020. That's RMVIP2020 uh, to actually try these out. And so that's what we want you to do. All right, folks. Uh, so again, go to seek.com. Time for our Tech Talk segment, sponsor, sponsored by Seek.com. Don't forget, if you want to get any of their headphones or VR headsets, simply go to Seek.com. Use the promo code RMVIP2020. That's RMVIP2020. All right, folks. Uh, Kevin Nichols, he is the founder, president, and CEO of an Oakland-based group uh, that uh, deals with the issue of STEM in uh, in the technology space. Uh, it's a social impact venture with Stanford University called the Social Engineering Project. He joins us right now. Kevin, how you doing? Fantastic. How are you, Roland? Uh, doing good. So this particular project here, who are you targeting? Are you targeting high school students, college students, folks who've already graduated? Uh, who are you tr really trying to reach to broaden uh, the number of our people who are in, this, uh, in the uh, STEM space, but also in Silicon Valley? We start primarily in middle school, but we go all the way up to high school and, and we help some college students as well. But our focus is middle school, getting them interested in traditional STEM at an early age. And, and, and how so? How, what are you doing to get them interested in STEM? So my business partner, Dr. Brian Brown, is a professor at the School of Education at Stanford. And he designed some curriculum to get young kids interested in STEM through a culturally relevant perspective. So we do about 15 science experiments in one week during our week, our summer program called Science in the City. And so they learn culturally relevant uh, math chemistry, physics, science, and engineering principles throughout that week. Uh, and, uh, and first of all, how long is a person in this program? Is it, um, is it for several months, is it for a year, multiple years? It's for a week each summer, but it could go over the course of a number of years. We also have other programs that kind of overlap. I have a program for high school students. I take 120 high school students camping, and I have tech companies come over to the Santa Cruz Mountains and teach them how they do their work at work. Uh, how has it gone thus far in terms of how many people have come through the program and how many of them have matriculated uh, two jobs uh, in Silicon Valley? So we started about eight years ago. So our first cohort of middle school students haven't quite made it to uh, college, out of college yet. However, we do about 50 students for the summer and about 120 to 150 high school students each year during the fall. Um, currently, a lot of our school our students are in college right now, but they haven't actually made it to the um, getting hired stage yet. We've only been around officially as an organization for four and a half years. Uh, and how many how many folks do you, do you do you, can you what's your capacity for how many students who can come to your program in any given year? Oh, about 250 right now, but we are looking to expand that. Uh, this year, we converted our Science in the City Day Camp to a virtual experience. So through our partnership with Nesby, we were able to uh, use students from all over the country to be able to participate. So we're looking at ways to scale our programs virtually 
and be able to reach more students. Uh, if somebody out there is watching, uh, how can they get more information on your program if they also want to apply? They can visit the socialengineer.org. That's our website. All the information about our programs and the kinds of things that we're doing to uh, increase the diversity in the technology space is there. And they can follow us on our social media handles from there as well. All right, Kevin Nichols, man, we certainly appreciate it. Good luck with the program, and hopefully this is going to inspire a whole new generation of uh, black kids and uh, uh, other kids of color uh, to really go into the STEM field uh, and fill up those critical jobs, those high-paying jobs in Silicon Valley. Excellent. Thank you very much for having me. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. All right, folks, some news on the media front. Essence Magazine has announced that they are actually furloughing all of their staff. Yes, COVID has greatly impacted the bottom line of Essence Communications. Let's go to the statement here. Uh, this is what they announced six months uh, into an, an un unprecedented and continuing global pandemic. COVID-19 has had a broader and long-lasting impact than anyone expected, and Essence Communications, Inc. has not been immune to it. In their statement, they say, this is why we are making the business decisions we are making today. Prior to COVID-19, because of the investments we have made over the past two years, we've been able to preserve and even grow Essence Magazine Magazine, the Essence Festival of Culture, and our digital platforms, even as many black-owned media were unable to do the same. While COVID-19 changed the trajectory of that growth, we were planning to get back on track quickly, and we remain committed to making the investments necessary to drive deeper and greater cultural impact via our magazine, digital, and virtual experiences as we also stand at the ready for the much-anticipated return of live experiences. Now, what they announced is that uh, they are, as I said, after, thoroughly, uh, after a thorough analysis of our business and its financial position and carefully exploring all options for continued viability, uh, they announced they're making the decision to implement temporary measures to account for the ongoing significant negative impact of the pandemic. And that is, uh, again, uh, the company informed impacted team members today, and, while, and uh, while no furloughed employee will perform any work on behalf of ECI during this period, we will pay everyone impacted throughout this week and will cover their medical benefits premiums throughout the furlough. We will remain in touch with all of those impacted to provide relevant and pertinent updates regarding this matter. We do not anticipate that any furloughs will exceed six months. Now, I reached out to the folks, uh, uh, Rich Dennis, uh, the brother who owns Essence, to find out when you say uh, all everyone's going to be furloughed, does that mean that uh, there's going to be no work being done uh, on the digital platforms of Essence? Have not heard back, uh, but uh, all staff of Essence uh, by the end of this week, will be furloughed as a result of COVID-19. And they say they don't think it's going to last more than six months. Sorry, right, folks. Uh, it has been uh, a jam-packed day, jam-packed week. Our goal, of course, here at Roller Martin Unfiltered is to provide you the best news possible, which is why we need your support to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Uh, every dollar you give that goes to support this show makes it possible for us to do what we do. There are more than eight, nearly 9,000 of you were live today on YouTube, which is the highest number we've ever had watching on YouTube simultaneously. Uh, or, and this is about 6,000 of you left right now. Y'all can give right there on YouTube. All right, folks, back to our Roller Martin video in just one moment. It's time to be smart. When we control our institutions, we win. We, win. we win. This is the most important news show on television of any racial background. Y'all put two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 20, 30 dollars on this and keep this going. What you've done, Roland, since this crisis came out in full bloom. Anybody watching this, tell your friends, go back and look at the last two weeks, especially of Roland Martin Unfiltered. I mean, hell, go back and look at the last two days. You've had sitting United States Senators today, Klobuchar and Harris. Whatever you have that you have, you can bring to Roland Martin Unfiltered to support it, please do because this information may literally save your life. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com.